Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we're going to do a quick video. In a previous video, we did a teardown of this broken UV sterilizing wand. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to check out that video. In this video, we got a replacement wand from the same seller, and we're going to just do a simple test to confirm that it does produce UVC light. First things first, gonna crack open a beer because I need this bottle cap. This is going to be our test bed. Cheers! All right, getting all of this stuff out of the way. We don't need the instructions or the cable that comes with it in the box. All we need is the sterilizing wand. Just toss that back there. Perfect. All right, this is a fairly simple wand. It can be powered by uh, AAA batteries or through a uh, micro USB here. So that's what we're going to do. This one does produce ultraviolet light that is capable of damaging your skin and eyes. So prolonged exposure to your skin is not recommended and always wear eye protection. An interesting note on this is you press and hold the power button for a few seconds for it to turn on and it's hard to see but there you go nice UV light coming from there there is a sensor in here that if tipped up turns off the light does make it a bit more difficult to blind yourself one quick press the button and that turns it off. All right, now to do our test, we're going to take some of our uh, photopolymer resin and pour it into this cap. That was quite a bit. And due to the low power output of this what we're going to do is we're simply just going to turn it on there we go and prop it up like this and let it sit for a while i'm gonna have a drink and we'll just chat about upcoming things actually let's zoom on down on the experiment one moment. Can I get it to stay in frame? My camera is super uncooperative. There we go. Let's move the whole experiment closer in frame. You can see the texture of the surface of the resin is already changing, meaning that this light is curing the resin quite a bit. There you go. So this proves that it does produce, at a minimum, near ultraviolet light, but as um, you guys can't tell, but I can smell the ozone that it's creating, which is a clear sign that it is stripping away electrons from oxygen and is producing UVC light. That's me drinking my beer. Don't mind me. All right, it's only been, what, like a minute? We can zoom back out. And we know that our test was successful. I'm 
We haven't fully cured it. It's still liquid over here, but there you have it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the uh, comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'd like to give a special thanks to our Patreon supporters who make videos like this possible. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.